And we did all of this in spite of the racism, in spite of the selective activism, the self-serving interests of CUNY Central, an institution that continues to fail us, that continues to train and cooperate with the fascist NYPD, the military, that continues to train IDF soldiers to carry out that same violence globally. Mm -hmm. Ripping the NYPD as fascists and like a good little Jew hater slamming Israel, of course, in this speech. Joining us now is professor from that university, CUNY law professor Jeffrey Lax. Professor, thank you for being here. Uh, CUNY reportedly reviewed this speech beforehand, allowed this subversive anti-American message to be delivered. Isn't this why America is vulnerable to these Marxist attacks? Because our youth are being programmed to accept this garbage. Yeah, I think you delivered some breaking news there. Uh, I was not aware until a few moments ago uh, from a source that I have that CUNY Law School actually did receive a version of that speech that you just played. They're claiming it was changed afterwards. Whether that matters or not and how much has changed you know, does matter. I'd like to see what the original version was. But either way, you saw the deans, the faculty applauding that not that horrific nonsense and like you said, the language she used, she used the word rage to describe uh, how to fight, ca fight capitalism with rage, fight Zionism, an entire ethnic people with rage. Um, and she called for the end of the U.S. military. What does the end of the U.S. military mean? What does that mean? <laughs> that means the end of America. That, I mean, if you want to see what an insurrection is, what calling for an insurrection is, this is a textbook calling for an actual insurrection. This is insurrection. Something tells me Christopher Ray won't be moved or uh, the Department of Justice won't be moved at all uh, by anything she said. A, a lot of people inside of FBI and inside of the DOJ applauding at what she said, just like those faculty members. You know, there are growing calls for CUNY to be stripped of their billions in taxpayer funding. That's probably why they're trying to cover their rear ends by saying, we didn't see the speech. This is, it was changed. This is, CUNY has yet to denounce the, any of these hate-filled remarks. Doesn't this speech reveal the anti-Western roots infecting education in the United States? Absolutely. And I'll give you a little inside information here. That speech was on their website. It was live streamed and CUNY wiped it off the internet. Why did they do that? Because New York State is, in, my group Safe CUNY, which you see behind me, I'm very proud of. I hope people will follow us and support us. Um, we filed a complaint with the New York State Division on Human Rights because CUNY Law, as far as I know, the only campus in the United States, their faculty unanimous, unanimously adopted BDS as policy, boycott, divestment, sanction as policy at their university. In that spe speech, and I hope people go and watch the whole speech, this speaker spoke about how the BDS policy is being implemented. She gave specific examples of how it's being implemented. And CUNY did not want the state investigators to see evidence of how the law school is actually implementing, because they're claiming, oh, we just spoke about BDS. No, 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 no. She spoke about how they're implementing it, which we knew they were doing. They were obstructing yep. a state investigation into the law school, which is shameful and should be <laughs> prosecuted in and of itself. Um, but they it should, should be found be. liable. It should be. Yeah. yeah, you know what? And Barack Obama coming out the other day, wagging his finger, saying, we've got to get rid of anti-Semitism out of the United States. Well, Barack Obama, all you need do is look at your political party, sir. That's where the home of anti-Semitism is today. Professor Jeffrey Lax, sir, appreciate the time as always. Thank you.